Hey there fellow wood shavers, Brian here from Wood Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna participate in a tag video. I was tagged by both uh, Sig Solo and by um, Jeremy, the traveling shaver, to do a first DE shave and try to replicate your equipment. So uh, I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I'm gonna get my tags out of the way. Um, if you've already been tagged, you're tagged again, but I'm gonna tag Josh from Shoot in the Shave. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, you should check it out. Brandon from Brandon Shaves, also check out his channel if you haven't. I'll put links to the all these channels in the description below. Uh, and finally, I'm gonna tag DK from DK Damn Fine Shaves. I don't know if you've been tagged yet, but uh, if you haven't, you're now tagged. If you were, you're tagged again. So uh, let me get into my shave. In today's shave, I'm gonna be using, um, and I've seen this in a few of them already, but uh, surprise, Pro Rosso Green. Um, I have some of the um, pre-shave. So I was, um, when I first started, I was just, I was using the pre-shave. So I'm gonna throw some of this on. Um, and I would already kind of wet the face. It's a little bit of menthol in here. Uh, goes on pretty thin, but I would just rub it in. And then I'll rinse my hands off here. Um, <clears throat> let that set for a second. Again, um, we're using the Pro Rosso Green Soap. Um, I use the Pro Rosso Pre-Shave. I am using a, my first DE razor, and this is, is the razor. It is a Mercure 34C. Uh, I don't know what my first blade was. This does have a Gillette 7 o'clock um, green on a third use in it. Um, I have this Edwin Jagger... Um, Badger brush. It was like, I got it from Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks. I don't even know what kind of badger it is at this point. My first bowl, uh, this is my first tiny bowl. This is, uh, I got it at the drugstore in like a Vanderhagen set. It had a, like a boar brush in it and, um, in the bowl and what else? And I think it had a puck of of soap, which I never even actually used. So I don't think I got the best lather here. It's been a while. This, like I said, this is a badger brush, but we are all lathered up in there. So this, I chose to go with this. Oh, and we're going to use um, the Pro Rosso aftershave. Um, I used to use the balm, um, but I'm out of the balm. I had since purchased the um, Pro Rosso aftershave, so. Um, those were some of my very first items that I used. And so, I mean, I guess let's go ahead and lather the face. So if you've watched the channel, you've followed me since the beginning, um, you might already know this story, but I'll tell it again. Um, so for probably three or four years, I shaved exclusively with Pro Rosso stuff. Um, that I found at TJ Maxx. And at that point I was a um, canned gel shaver with a Chic Hydro or whatever latest Gillette mock whatever was out there. Um, I found this Pro Rosso stuff at TJ Maxx. Um, I bought it. I brought bought the pre-shave. They had the whole the whole thing there: the pre-shave, the soap, uh, the cream, and um, the aftershave balm. And so I bought it. They had green. They had red. They had white. So I bought it. Then I didn't realize I needed a brush. So I found. Um, I ended up um, finding a brush. So that's this brush here. And then I was shaving with a Mach three razor. Um, with a fancy Edwin Jagger handle for the Mach 3 heads for like three or four years. Um, and in fact, my wife actually bought me, um, I think a DE89 at one point. And it just, I don't know, I, I hadn't found YouTube, I hadn't found Instagram, I hadn't found um, kind of all this whole artisan world yet. So I didn't think to go to YouTube to like watch some videos at that time on how to use it. And it just looked intimidating to me. So I actually returned it. And so I continued to shave that way for a long time. And then, so TJ Maxx had a bunch of this stuff and I'm kind of one of those people, if I find something I like, uh, I'll get a bunch of it. So I went back and I bought like the, I think I, 
think I got the green and then I got the red and then I got the white. So I like stocked up on it and I was good for a long time. I would make one of these jars uh, basically last like about six months the way, cause I was only doing one pass. I didn't need a lot of lather. Um, and so I would make one of these jars last five or six months and I bought several of them. So I would basically use like green until it was gone. And then I would switch to white until it was gone and then switch to red till it was gone. And then at some point I started to run out of these jars and I was starting to look for a replacement. I looked on Amazon, on Shave Soaps, and I saw some of the tubs and some other stuff. But then, you know, the cookies get in your stuff. They get in your stuff, and they watch what you're looking for. And so I started getting all these, some of these artisan, or some of these, I don't know. I don't even remember what I saw first. But anyways, I got started to get some stuff come up and suggested ads and things like that. And... So then I started just looking more and more into shaving soaps and doing more research. And as I did more research, I found YouTube and the YouTube channels and I found um, Instagram and then a lot of the shave of the day pictures. And I thought, wow, man, this is a whole world that looks pretty cool that I am not a part of. And so, so then I finally bought my first DE razor, which was this very Mercure 34C. I bought it off of Amazon. Um, and I uh, started looking up some YouTube videos. I think I found like Executive Shave and I found Ken Serps and like some how to videos, probably Kevy. And um, so that's kind of how I found YouTube, trying to look how to use my razor. And then ultimately uh, found more channels and um, guys I still watch when I have time. <laughs> um, not the best lather, but it's working. I haven't used this little bowl when I was <laughs> when I was lathering. I forgot how small it was, and so it was like clank, 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 clank. Definitely um, much more narrow than than my current bowls. So, um, let me go across the grain here. Anyways, um, so then my first artisan soap purchase was, and I did a video, um, I think back in June with it, cause it was like one of my first Instagram posts, uh, was just a soap and it was wet shaving products, fresh vetiver. And I used it with some of the Proraso after, um, shave stuff cause I didn't have any matching splash or anything for it. So I guess this is kind of my first halfway into DE sh shaving um, soap and pre-shave and my first DE. Um, and I had this brush probably when I was doing, or I had this brush when, before I bought the DE razor. But anyway, hopefully everybody's having a good week. Um, Thank you to Jeremy and Sig for tagging me. Um, I still have this stuff in my den. I don't use it very much, but it, every time I use it, it reminds me that, hey, it's still good stuff. Um, I do use this razor quite a bit. I actually use this razor quite a bit off camera when um, I'm not doing a video and I need a shave. And I'm kind of in a hurry, which is kind of a lot of my life right now in the mornings, just in a hurry. Getting, I got a, a lot of mornings I'll do my Peloton ride and then, uh, and then I'll do, or I gotta, I gotta get dressed and gotta get the kids ready. And as you've heard me say, my wife's uh, now working. So there's mornings where she's getting ready. So it's just been more difficult for me to get as many videos done. So when I'm in a hurry and I'm off camera, I'll use my Mercure a lot, actually. Um, and it's not the most efficient razor, but I just find I get good, smooth, comfortable shaves. It's almost like cruise control. I would say probably off camera, the razors I use the most are, and partly with the Mercure is because I have it on this stand that just sits on the counter. 
And all the, all of the, all of my other razors pretty much sit, um, underneath my sink. And so, um, so I just, it's easy to grab and it's right there in front of me, but I'll use also my, um, Rockwell Success and my Carb. Those are kind of the, probably the, th the three razors I most commonly try to use when I'm not shaving on camera. And that's the Rockwell, I use the three plate and the Carb, I'll use mostly the B plate, sometimes the C plate. So for those of you who weren't tagged, or don't have a channel, put in the comments below, what was the first setup you used when you got into DE shaving? Uh, my story was just kind of happenstance. I didn't have like a, you know, a grandfather or a father who wet shaved that I remember or got any equipment, equipment passed down to me or, or anything like that. It was all kind of serendipitous for me. Um, kind of just happening upon the um, Pro Rosso stuff at TJ Maxx and then deciding to buy it just to try it and then not realizing it needed a brush and then thinking, well, I'll try this brush thing. And, um, and then kind of happening upon the wet shaving community. So, um, just kind of accidentally fell into the rabbit hole. Wasn't really looking to get into the rabbit hole. All right. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. Cold water on that menthol feels good and refreshing. I did not have this Lancaster towel at the time. All right, let's throw on the, the splash. I actually had the bomb, like I said, but I bought this splash when I got the um, PAA's Awesome Sauce soap um, because I did not, so to me, the bomb smells more like the soap and I didn't realize that the splash kind of smelled different than the soap and the balm and the pre-shave and smells more like the awesome sauce uh, soap from PAA. So anyways, uh, I bought this then, but um, I'm either out of the balm or I can't find the balm. It's buried somewhere. So um, we're gonna use the splash. I used to actually only like the splash because I didn't like the alcohol in the burn. But then when I started wet shaving, for some reason, I got the splashes and I realized that I actually did like that a little bit of a, a stringent um, alcohol. And so now I actually prefer a bomb to a, or a, excuse me, a splash to a bomb. So that was something that kind of changed uh, getting into DE shaving. So again, thanks for tuning in today. This was kind of my first setup or pseudo setup or close to the setup. Um, Parasa is still a good product. I uh, enjoyed my shave today. I uh, love my Mercure 34C. That will never leave the den. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, folks. And um, again, comment below um, your first sh uh, shave setup or what you remember first using when you were in wet shaving or what got you kind of into the wet shaving um, and love to hear those stories. So uh, thanks. We'll see you soon on the channel.